In this video, you're going to learn about the zeros of quadratic functions. In the last two videos, we discussed the two ways to solve the quadratic functions. And those are the factoring method and the completing the square method. This video will discuss about the quadratic formula. Let's use the example y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. First, we have to identify or determine the values of a, b, and c in our equation. The value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 2, and the value of c is negative 8. Second, we have to substitute these values to the formula. The quadratic formula is given by x is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Substituting the values, we have x is equal to negative, negative 2 is the value of b, negative 2 is the value of b squared, 4 times a is 1, c is negative 8, and 2 times the, quant the value of a is 1. Third step, we have to simplify and solve for the values of x. Now, negative 2 squared is a positive 4. Negative 4 times 1 will give us negative 4, times negative 8 will give us positive 32. The negative of negative 2 is a positive 2. 4 plus 32 will give us the answer of 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. Using the value of 6 as a positive number, we have 2 plus 6 over 2, which is 2 plus 6 will give us the answer of 8, and 8 divided by 2 will give us the answer of 4. Using the value of 6 as a negative number, we have 2 minus 6 divided by 2, giving us 2 minus 6 is negative 4, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Thus, the zeros of the function y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8 are 4 and negative 2. Let's take another example. y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 5. First, we have to identify the values of a, b, and c. In this equation, our a is equal to 1, b is positive 6 and c is positive 5. Now substituting the values to our quadratic formula, we will have negative 6, the value of b, 6 squared, that's b squared, minus 4 times a, 1, and c is 5, over 2 times the value of a is 1. Then simplify to solve the value of x. We have 6 squared as 36. 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 will give us the answer of 20. Now 36 minus 20 will give us positive 16. And the square root of 16 is positive and negative 4. Using the value of 4 as a positive number, Negative 6 plus 4 divided by 2 will give us negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 divided by 2 will give the answer of negative 1. Using the value as a negative number, negative 6 minus 4 will give us negative 10 divided by 2 will give us negative 5. Thus, the zeros of the function y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 5 are negative 1 and negative 5. Note, the next video will be about finding the equations of a quadratic function.